Welcome back to the Who's Games. We're talking between Canada soccer and U.S. soccer. And today we're going to be talking about the U.S. women's national team's final match against Iceland. And just like the Canada video, you know, I just released. So this is going to be a late reaction and a couple announcements as we talk about for this one. But I do want to say USA did win this one 5 0 over Iceland. However, before we break down the details of this, I do want to talk about a couple announcements that I said in the Canada video. So, if you've seen the Canada video, you probably already know what I'm going to say. And the first announcement is, um, due to me just coming back from Montreal, there will be no reaction for uh, the U.S. and New Zealand, which turned out to be an own goal fest anyway, as I heard and saw the highlights of. So, prayers out to the one New, uh, one New Zealand defender who just scored a hat trick of her own goals. And... It went pretty viral. I mean, it made British news. It made all over. And just, yeah, prayers to the Liverpool defender there for New Zealand. Um, unfortunate for her, but uh, hey, what can you do? C'est la vie. Life goes on. And I mean, uh, hey, that's tough luck. And I had honestly never really thought that would have happened. But seeing that would have probably just been, it would have been something for sure. But also being her would have, that would have hurt. It would have hurt, and I feel their pain for that, but what else could you do? As I said, say la vie. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's announcement one. There will be no reaction to that. Um, and then announcement two, kind of leading into this one, is that um, this one is obviously being recorded late, and that's due to me, you know, being my sleep schedule is also super off too. But this will also be, instead of, it, we will talk about Iceland and the U.S., but it will also talk about, Mainly just a tournament recap as I did for the Canada video, as that would just be easier given how I already missed the uh, New Zealand game. And it would just talk about just what this tournament means for the U.S. and the goals of this tournament, right? As well as even a bonus, which I'm going to talk about. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. And without further ado, I mean, I hope you guys like it. And just going to the starting lineup. So, in this one, the U.S. played um, Casey Murphy, Kellen O'Hara, or Kelly O'Hara. Sorry for pronouncing these names wrong. Mallory Pugh, Sophia Smith, Tiana Davidson, Ashley Sanchez, Alana Cook, Andy Sullivan, Emily Fox, Katarina McCarroll, who had a breakout game, and Christy Mewis. And so, yeah, that's your lineup. And then now we go to our goals. And when I say Katarina McCarroll had a breakout game, I mean it as, man, as well as Mallory Pugh. And we're going to talk about what they both did. But Katarina Curry on 37 minute has the ball. She takes a, a little shimmy and just takes a wicked shot. And it just finds the back of the net off the sidebar and in. And it freezes the keeper for Iceland. And there's nothing she can do about it. And what a golazo this was. And it was just 1-0 USA. As already Katarina Curry putting a stamp for a fantastic golazo. And... I don't know what it is recently, but all these golazos being scored, whether it be for U.S. and Canada, there's goals everywhere, and I really like it. And in terms of the 45th minute, there will be another goal also from um, Katarina Ricardo. As Mallory Pugh tries to send um, a ball into Katarina Ricardo, it's too uh, slow, but Ricardo gets there anyways. Ricardo turns and does a little scoop and score as she gets under the shot and it's kind of a big chip past the keeper, and the keeper, nothing she could do it once again. It's 2-0 USA. And back-to-back -back amazing goals for Katarina Cario in the USA. And the goals keep coming. In the 60th minute, Mallory Pugh dribbles down the sideline and just slides it past the keeper. And the keeper freezes here. It's 3-0 USA. And then we go to the 75th minute, a breakaway for the USA. As Mallory Pugh and Katarina Cario do a little pick and pop. And Pugh slaps at home. And it's now 4-0 Yanks. And... The Yanks are just running away with it now. And then finally, if it wasn't the nail in the coffin already, 88th minute, Mitch Purse does a slide rule pass across the box for Christian Mewis. And Mewis slots at home. And that's five for the USA. And that does it. And the USA are your champions once again of their own tournament. And, I mean, hey, they said the goal was not to win the tournament. But you got a little bonus and... Now you got some experience out of it, so here you go. You got some. The goal was complete, and the bonus. So I'm gonna before we get to that, let's go into the stats. But yeah, a lot of goal losses are being scored there, and this was pretty fun to watch. So my word, it's 24 shots to eight for the USA 
Iceland got peppered. 12 of those 24 shots were on target to 1 of the 8 for Iceland. Yeah, they got peppered. 61% possession to 39% possession. 447 pass completed to 288 pass completed. 74% pass accuracy to 58% pass accuracy. 8 fouls to 12. Well, no yellow cards to 1. No red cards. 5 offsides to 2. And 6 corners to 4. USA were all over Iceland in this game. And, I mean, yeah, it was just fun to watch. And before you do that, let's go into the final standings of... Um, what your table looks like, and, um, damn, I didn't post that, but either way, your final standings, USA obviously finished on top, and then, I think it's, um, I can't remember, but I just know the USA won, I don't know why I don't have a table for this, but, I'll get that posted, you guys, so you guys will probably see this, I'm reading it, but, yeah, so, overall, tournament summary, um, don't, as I said, the goal of this tournament was not to win, Hey, they won it anyway, so we're a bonus. But the goal of the tournament was mainly just to get experience with these youngsters that are coming in during this transition period and are trying to fill big the shoes of big players. And, you know, such as Megan Rapino, Carly Lloyd, uh, some of your other players, you know. So they're trying to fill in this and they're trying to keep this transition period as well as to even get prep, as I said in the Canada video, for what they're doing over there too is... You know, they're trying to get prepped for the upcoming qualifiers, whether it be for golf, the World Cup qualifiers and CONCACAF or the um, Olympic qualifiers. So, big big year ahead of them for both teams. So, USA more so too, as they got a lot of youngsters that are trying to prove their point and really trying to work their way into their lineup. So, overall, this tournament, you know, it was really, really great. So I, would say, I would say success. I know the Czech Republic game hurt a lot, but... Hey, I mean, it's a learning lesson, and it looks like they did learn a lot from that game. Is they were they proved to be dominant going forward. It's you know the New Zealand game when I was in Montreal. You know, I was looking at the score, and that was a shocker. I mean, I don't know if it really was a shocker to you guys, but as I kind of said, that one out of it was either going to be a super super good game or a super super dominant game from USA, and it turned out to be a super super dominant game as USA. It was five. It was it five nil. Yeah, and three of the goals came from that one defender, uh, own goal. Rest in peace again. But other than that, I mean, the USA were just all over New Zealand, it looks like. And so, overall, but yeah, Czech Republic, I know it was 0-0. And that keeper, I mean, once again, you just got to cre credit to the Czech Republic keeper. She just came up big and just denied everything that game. But the final game, Iceland, I mean, they just peppered the keeper. And five of the shots went past her. And... Turns out, I don't think the U.S. led a single goal in this tournament, which was a, um, a statement, given the young lineup, and that says a lot. And I guess, sure, you can argue the quality of the teams they're playing are, you know, not good, but given for a young lineup, or a relatively young lineup, I mean, I would say this is a definitely success, and you see something, this is definitely some momentum you can use on the going into your big year for World Cup qualifiers and Olympic qualifying, so... Use this tournament as momentum, and yes, you are, you, you are the champions of your own tournament again. Um, you know, I know people are going to say the teams weren't that good, but given it's a young lineup, I would say it's a success, even though the goal was not to win the tournament, it was just the experience. And, hey, I mean, I'm curious to see what this young lineup does and what these young group of players do going forward. So, we'll see how that goes for this big year going ahead for the Yanks. But overall... Tournament was a success. Um, Iceland, as I said, was a mystery team. And, you know, I thought, you know, they looked pretty good, but then they just ran into the USA and they just ran into a buzzsaw. So that's what this game was all about, just running into a buzzsaw. And, yeah, they just got shredded, unfortunately. And sorry for them, but, I mean, I don't know what else you can do. But, overall, tournament success for the USA. And,. Really, really a lot that they can take away going for this tournament going forward. But if you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about it. Also, tell all your friends. USA can use this as a momentum going into their big year for World Cup qualifiers and Olympic qualifiers coming up.